Quaskloof Oxwagon Trail has been broken up into three videos. This video is the orientation video and also part one, which includes the start to the old toll house. The route is one of the great historical gravel passes which winds its way through the Otaniqua Mountains north of Mossel Bay. The long and arduous route was eventually replaced by a significantly more convenient tarred road, the Robinson Pass. Today, Atakwaskloof Pass is mostly frequented by die-hard 4x4 enthusiasts and a few local farmers. However, the 22,3 km of Jeep track is definitely worth every meter of its history-rich length. A permit is required to drive the route and there are several locked gates. Keys are obtained on issue of your permit at the start point, which is the Bonnydale Farm. It should be noted that the route can only be driven in one direction, which is from west to east. Getting to the Bonnydale Farm is something of an adventure in itself. The easiest route is to take the Tard R328 from the N2 at Klein Brockrefeer and head north towards the Robinson Pass. Just before the well-known Eight Bells Mountain Inn, take the gravel road to the left marked Hall Kral. Travel westwards on this lovely winding farm road for 8 kilometers, and at the top of a short steep hill, turn sharp right at the sign marked Bonnydale. Remain on this road as it first heads north, then turns west for approximately 30 kilometers of exquisite driving through dense forests. This is a slow drive and will take you at least an hour to get there. Eventually you will arrive at the Bonnydale farmstead where you will probably meet the owners Nico and Danette Hesterman. The farm is a much loved venue for nature lovers and offers camping, hiking, rock pools, horse trails and 4x4 routes. They also offer some self-catering options and a tented camp. Once you've sorted out your payment, permits, keys and map, you are on your way to your first obstacle, which is the crossing of the river. You should immediately select low range and carefully negotiate the rocky approaches to and through the small river. This short river section is approximately 50 meters long, whereafter the track heads up to the left. The first two kilometers are without question the most difficult of the entire route. Once you've reached the top of the first hill, you've got the worst behind you. The route is graded level 2 to 3. Within minutes, you will arrive at the worst obstacle of the route, where there is a humorous notice board about bras and dentures. Here it is best to get out and inspect the line you intend to drive. This obstacle is best handled in first or second gear low range. In wet weather, things will be a lot more difficult. Centuries ago, the local Khoi tribes herded their cattle and sheep across a path in the Otaniqua Mountains, which later became something of a road for all travelers between Mossel Bay and Otsuan. The route was never suited to wagons, and in the mid-1800s, the public were putting pressure on the authorities to provide a decent road. South Africa's master pass builder, Thomas Bain, was called in, who surveyed the area and a number of options were suggested, which included an existing road at the Reitersposch village. This then became a long and arduous route through the Otaniquas to the Karoo, but it was not popular. Ultimately, a new road was surveyed, which tracked through a neck further to the east. This was to become the well-known modern Robinson Pass. Over time, the old Atakwaskloof route fell into disuse with virtually no traffic on it, and the road was closed to the general public. The route today is managed in a joint collaboration between private and state units. About three kilometers from the start, you will find this old ruin set approximately a hundred meters off to the right-hand side of the track. This was the original toll house which collected toll fees from over four and a half thousand ox wagons in its time.